Good morning, you guys. It's Brittany from the blog, thebeautyrevival.com. In today's video, I want to share with you all the details behind our master bedroom makeover. house for about two years now and although I had done a couple little things to our bedroom it was definitely the last room in the house that I decided to really go for and try to make something with a little bit more of my own personal stamp on it. Though it's really tiny it's super cozy and we really love it and that style is especially drawn out now that we decided to do a mini makeover on this room. I'll share some pictures of what it looked like before we, my husband did put up this chair rail, I don't know what it would be called since it's so high, for me. And then above it, I had just done some hand-painted stamping on the wall. Um, we had our headboard that was, I think, eight years old um, that I ended up throwing like a boho rug over top of. And I love the way it looked, but my style is changing. It definitely was just kind of cobbled together. It wasn't the look that I was kind of dreaming of or envisioning in my mind. And so a couple months ago, I think about two months ago, I decided to just go for it and try something new and different. And the biggest change is that we painted our walls from kind of like a muddy gray with white on top to this beautiful greeny blue gray color. It's called Chimney by Bear. And I absolutely love it. I found the color on iSpy. DIY, I believe she paint, used it in one of her bathroom makeovers and I just absolutely loved it. When we put it on the wall at first, I was really nervous. It was very dark. It felt so different than anything I had usually used for decorating. I usually go with light and bright and white and this was a complete departure for me. But after a couple months, my husband and I can say that we absolutely love the color change. It's beautiful. And then the next change that we made was we swapped out our big velvet button tufted headboard for this cane headboard. I absolutely love this headboard. I am so thrilled with it. The best part was that it was affordable. I always, when I look up cane furniture, it's just crazy expensive, but this one was actually affordable and we couldn't be happier with it. it you can purchase the bed frame to go with it. We had one that my husband made for me. So we just attached it to it and you can see here I've show, I've left a little space here um, about how much higher I put it. So it's about two inches higher than my mattress just because I wanted a little extra height um, but you could go lower if that's the look that you're going for. And then we were also going to change out our rug which you'll see um, coming up here soon but for now and I was going to do something a little bit more traditional. Um, but for now, I'm, I'm kind of liking the contrast of the boho modern look of the diamond shag rug with everything else that's a little bit more traditional, the traditional art prints, the traditional caning. I lean towards are kind of these funky eclectic boho pieces. So pom-pom pillows, um, the, the fun plants, I have the snake plant over there. I'm not sure what this is. It's really cute, little quirky things like my favorite bunny candle. So it's things like that, that even though I'm calling this trendy traditional, I've had lots of people comment and say, I love it, it's so boho. So that's, I guess, my style. Um, but I liked pairing the two of them together and I hope you guys enjoy it as much as we do. The biggest difference in our room makeover was painting our walls this smoky green blue color and it's by Bear, it's called Chimney. And I absolutely love it. We also decided to keep up the chair rail and I think it adds character and dimension, especially now that the room is all painted one color, even the window and the door frames. Our bedroom is really tiny and we like to have a TV in our room. We ended up hanging ours across from our bed and so we exchanged our closet doors for the shower curtains from HomeSense. You get creative when you live in a small bedroom. My other tip for small spaces is this IKEA hack, which is their shoe cabinet, but we don't use it to store shoes. We use it to store my husband's socks and other items that we can just toss in there. These cabinets are great for storage, especially for items that you don't have to fold. Thank you for following along with us at The Beauty Revival. I hope you enjoyed this bedroom makeover. You can also find us at thebeautyrevival.com and on Instagram at the.beautyrevival. 
Have a great day.